Hi, alright, this is the question that's suitable for me to discuss under the concept of infinite geometric series. Yeah? So, okay, you have that question in your hand, so you try to read the question and pause the video so that you try before you looking how I solve. Given, uh, the question is, given a geometric sequence, yes, it's a geometric sequence, okay, uh, such that the sum of the first six term, uh, the sum of the first six term is 42, right? Uh, the first information is 42, uh, the sum of the first six term. So, then followed by the sum of the next six term, ah, the words here, okay, sum of the next uh, six terms. Okay, you have to understand the meaning of sum of the next six term is 21 over 32. All right, so what is the meaning of sum of the next six term? So, the sum of the first six term, the S6 here, this is the sum of the first six term. Okay, I repeat, this is the sum of the first, uh, first six, you know. You see the word first? Uh, this is the next, right? The next six term. So it's very different. So this is not S6. This is not S6, but this is, right? So <clears throat> what's the difference, right? So what's the difference? So the next, the first six term means that you have, have T1 plus with T2, T3, T4, T5, T6. Uh, this is the first six term, all right? Uh, this is actually your S6, right? But if they said sum of the next six term means after the six term. So which is uh, the, Okay, I'm not going to write this. It's okay. This is your 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and the 12th term. Alright? Uh, so why I stop at the 12th term? Because this is the first 6th term, right? Uh, this is the first 6th term. This is the next sum of, okay, or oh, here, okay, the same, sum of the next six term. So first six term, next, next means seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, total have six term. So how to find uh, this sum of the next six term? So you see the chain here, right? If you're adding up, this is called S6, right? S6 from here to here is S6. So, but if you from the T1 up to the T12, means you add from T1 up to T12, this is called the first 12th term, right? The first 12th term. So I just want the T7 up to T12. I just want this part. So I need to take that, the S16, uh, the next six, sum of the next six term is you take everything, the S12, uh, you take the, S12, subtract away the first six term, right? If you take this whole thing, T1 add up to T12, you subtract minus tolak dengan sebelum ini. You akan dapat bahagian ini, right? From T7 up to T12. This is the concept here. So means you take S12 minus X6. Uh, you minus S6. So which is equals to 21 over 32. Alright, hope you understand. So, okay, I repeat again, this is the T1 up to T12, right? It's called the sum of the first 12th term. So, it's add up from T1 up to T12. So, this one is T1 up to T6, is S6. So, they just want T7 up to T12. So, you have to take everything minus away this one. Then you will get the next 6th term. So, it's S12 minus S6 equals to 21 over 32. So, this is the most important thing that you must understand. All right, you must understand this concept. Uh, so hope they will not confuse. So now, <coughs> okay. Now how 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 going to help you uh, to solve this problem? So you have to, uh, <coughs> you have to uh, you look at this S six right. So the sum of the next six term is twenty one over thirty two. So okay. Now, 
you know that S6 is 42, right? S6 is 42, so equals to 21 over 32, right? So you have you know that S6 is 42, so you just put inside there. So what is your S12, right? S12. S12 is 21 over 32 plus with 42. Alright, uh, using calculator, you can get the value, right? 21 over uh, 32, 20 over 32 plus with uh, 42, right? Plus with 42, you have 1365 over 32. Alright, now, okay, I, I, I'm going to erase all this because uh, it's very uh, tedious to solve this. The first six turn is 42, right? Ah, from this is the sum of the next six term. Alright? So, is after that, after I modify this, I plug in everything, I know that my S12, uh, my sum of the first 12 term is 1365 over 32. Alright? So, hope you understand the information here. Okay. Alright. Now, I'm going to solve the simultaneous equation. Uh, for these two information. Alright, this is the most important thing here. Like, okay, you have to understand this. No matter how you have to understand this. So, <coughs> alright. Okay. Now, become very easy because you already understand the information, right? You have already understand the information. So, you have to apply formula. This is a geometric series, right? It's a geometric series. So, for the sum of the first n term of a geometric series, uh, sum of the first n term of a geometric series is a 1 minus rn over 1 minus r, right? Which r cannot be 1. So, this is a formula that I apply now. So, now S6, uh, S6 is 42. So, you know that S6 uh, is a 1 minus r to the power of 6, right? Uh, divided by 1 minus r. This is not an easy question, huh? okay? You have to follow the process. So, a 1 minus r, power of 6, 1 minus r, uh, which is, you know that a 1 minus r power of 6 over with 1 minus r is equal to 42. <coughs> I make this to be equation number 1, all right? Uh, equation number 1. So, then I use the second information to get the uh, <coughs> equation number 2. So the formula is A 1 minus Rn over with 1 minus R which is equals to 1365 divided by 32. Right? So, uh, alright, you can see that it involves many algebra here. So I'm going to rewrite this as A 1 minus R to the power of 12 over with 1 minus r is equal to 1, 3, 6, 5 divided by 32, equation 2. So you have to solve simultaneous equation between uh, the first one, the first equation and the second e equation. So I, I, I need to uh, remind you again, for geometric sequence, for geometric series, usually we will apply divide, division, uh, to solve the simultaneous equation. Right? That's, the, uh, that's the best. So now, for this, I need to take the equation 2 divide by equation 1. All right? uh, you can see why I divide because okay, A, 1 minus R to the power of 12 over 1 minus R. For the left hand side, I divide by the left hand side of this term. So I divide by a 1 minus r to the power of 6 over with 1 minus r, which is equals to 1, 3, 6, 5, 1, 3, 6, 5 over with 32, all right, over with 32, and divide by 42, right, divide by 42. So if you write divide by 42, it's the same as you write as multiply 1 over 42, right? If you divide by 42, if you convert this by multiply, it will become 1 over 42. So you have to understand. So, uh, okay. 
Using calculator, evaluate the right hand side. So 1365 divided by 32 divided by 42 again. So you have uh, 65 divided by 64. Okay? Uh, so hope you'll be patient while I solve this equation. So it will be 65 over with 64. Okay, now we go for the left hand side. You, if, you, if you observe carefully there, uh, can you see that? Here you have A1 minus R, here you have A minus R. Because this is a division, right? And A over 1 minus R is not 0, right? Uh, so it's not 0. The sum of infinity is not 0, so you can divide. Uh, you divide, then you still have remaining, you have 1 over R power of 12 and 1 minus R power of 6. Wow, very tough, right? Uh, you have to solve the equation. So, um, now you have to think how to solve, right? Uh, how to solve this algebra problem here. Okay, there are uh, two ways. One, you can use this formula, right? A power of 2 minus B to the power of 2. The square of difference, this formula, you have very familiar with this formula, which you can write as A minus B and A plus B, right? Uh, so, why? Why I talk about this? Because I can see this. Uh, because I can see R power of 12. It's the same as 1 can write as 1 to the power of 2. Hello. Ah, see this one. This important. I said the hello. So minus R12. R12 is R6 to the power of 2. Isn't it? You see, 1 power of 2, you get 1. R6, 6 times 2, 12. Right? So it's become A square minus B square. So you become A minus B, A plus B. 1 is A minus the B. Uh, your b here, the b square, and the other one is 1 plus r to the power 6. Well, this is a technique. Uh, it's a technique. So, you're going to convert this to become 1 minus r to the power of 6, 1 plus r to the power of 6, divided by 1 minus r power of 6 equals to 65 over 64. Very beautiful, right? Uh, very beautiful, where you can cancel out this. <laughs> That's the most beautiful one. So, you cancel out, then you only have 1 plus r to the power of 6 equals to 65 over 64. You are very great if you can reach until here as a student. Huh? r power of 6, so you take 65 over 64 minus with 1, right? Minus with 1. So I think you have 1 over 64, right? Okay, finally, you have r power of 6 to be 1 over 64. Remember, this is an even, right? Uh, the even power. So even power, you may have positive, negative, right? You have positive, negative. So uh, you have when you're moving over there, you have uh, plus minus, right? The sixth root of the one over 64. Uh, you have to have plus minus power eight, power two, four, eight. Even power, you have plus minus. So you know that the sixth root of one over 64. Because 1 over 64 is actually what? 1 over 2 to the power uh, 6, right? Uh, so 2 power of 6 is uh, 64, right? 2 power of 6 is 64. So, so when you 6 root of the 1 over 64, you will get 1 over 2. R equals to plus minus 1 over 2. Uh, but the question clearly, the question clearly mentioned that, uh, the question clearly mentioned that, you should choose the negative one, right? Because if the common ratio is negative, ah, they mentioned if the common ratio, but it's not wrong if you write the positive negative too. The question now is just asking you to uh, choosing the uh, negative one, right? The negative one. So you have to choose the negative one. Alright, so now you have to choose the negative one since the question said, uh, <coughs> alright, so since the question, since R is negative, uh, negative, therefore you, 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 you state that the R is negative 1 over 2, right? R is negative 1 over 2. Okay, not finished yet. And find the, if the common ratio is negative, find the first term. 
okay find the first term and the common ratio yes common ratio is negative one or two so how to find the value of a right uh, you can use either equation one or equation two right either one is okay so we have a 1 minus negative 1 over 2 to the power of 6 divided by 1 minus negative 1 over 2 right uh, negative negative 1 over 2 negative 1 over 2 to the power of 6 right equals to 42 then you find the value of a right you find the value of a okay uh, give me some time i need to multiply this uh, Okay, 1 minus negative uh, 1 over 2 to the power of 6. 1 minus negative 1 over 2 to the power of 6. You have, uh, on top, you have 63 over 64. For here, you have 3 over 2, right? Uh, 2 over 2, 3 over 2 equals to 42. So slowly, you you uh, bring over the 302 so you have uh, okay the a is a is uh, okay we write as a 63 over 64 63 over 64 equals to 42 multiply with 3 over 2 uh, so you have 42 divided by 2 multiply with 3 right so you have 63 here 63 here and the a the 63 over 64 bring over there it will become 64 over 63 multiplied 63 cancel out you have your first term as 64 so very good therefore your value of a is 64 uh, is positive 64 right positive 64 and your value of r is uh negative one over two right negative one or two so you have wow you have very hard working doing this right so finally the question not end yet they require you to find what the question require you to find hence find the sum to infinity of this series right sum to infinity okay this one very easy you just understand the formula right the sum infinity is a over one minus r so which give you a 64 divided by 1 minus negative 1 over 2 r so you have 64 divided by <coughs> 1 plus 1 over 2 you have 3 over 2 right so uh, you're taking calculator take the 64 the 64 divided by 3 over 2 is 1.5 right divided by 1.5 uh, you have 1 2 8 over 3 means that your sum to infinity is 1, 2, 8 over 3. Alright, so this question is a very good question to practice your algebra uh, skill. Alright, that's all for this uh, video.